crash landing in T minus 10 seconds. What's up guys, Tim here from Audio Tutor. Today we are talking about sound effects. Yep, sound effects, a topic that isn't discussed as much as it should be in the audio world. And so I hope we can cover it more in the future at Audio Tutor. Today we are talking about this computer voiceover that was designed and created for the family-friendly musical The Magical Hat Shop by Jake Dale and Patrick Buckley. This is a theatre production and in this scene we see the characters on a spacecraft about to crash land on the moon, of course. Uh, but before they do, the onboard computer warns them that they will be landing in T-10 minus. 10 seconds and then it counts down from 10 to 1 and there's a little bit after that as well. So my job here was to record the wonderful actress Hannah Goodwin reading these lines and then to transform her vocal performance into this spacecraft onboard computer voiceover. So I'm going to walk you through the three steps to take your dry vocal recording to this space age computer voiceover. Now these techniques here can be used in many different situations. In fact, uh, this design reminds me of a scene in a rather well-known movie called The Lord of the Rings, which you, you may have heard of. Um, there's a scene in that movie where the White Queen, I believe her name is, uh, she gets all angry about the ring and says something like, uh, instead of a queen, you would have a mighty sorceress, la 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 la. And her vocal kind of jumps an octave and it gets all scary and, and whatever. And basically the process used on her vocal there is very similar to what we're doing today to create this otherworldly computer voice. So it's, it's similar. That's an example of how you could use the same processing in a different scenario. Okay, as I said, there are three steps. Those are number one, clean, number two, pitch, and number three, space. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to need to do is clean things up, make things all studio ready. Just you need a, you need a nice blank canvas to start working from. Um, so you can see the first thing I've done here is just get rid of the silence in between these. So these are the, the numbers. This is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And I've taken all the silence out from in between. We don't need it. And I've done this manually, literally by clicking, dragging, deleting, and making sure I'm fading in and out of all of these clips that I do want. Uh, but you could use a noise gate if you like noise gates. I don't like noise gates. They get on my nerves. Um, <laughs> but if, if you're good with a noise gate, then go ahead and use one. Um, I know also DAWs, I, I know Logic does it. You can select, you can use like a threshold to select all of the silence in a track and de delete it automatically. So that's handy as well. But anyway, so we're, we're just cleaning things up quite literally there, taking out the silences that we don't need. Then, then the first thing here on the track is a de -esser. So we're going to need a de to get rid of all those S and Ts and the sibilance that is annoying in a vocal. We don't want to distract anyone with annoying S and T sounds. So we're getting rid of some of that first. And then we've got an EQ. This is just a stock EQ from Logic. And we're rolling off a load of that low end that we, we just don't need that information. Um, so we're rolling things off like a, it's a gentle slope. And we're talking it's 120 hertz here, but a gentle slope. So just rolling off some of that really low stuff we don't need and then I'm boosting here at 1.3 um, that is because in in that sort of area the sort of 1 to 3k area is the the radio walkie-talkie sound which I know we're gonna need later on so I thought I'd boost a little bit there then the last thing I'm doing is I've got a 1176 and we are reducing 3 to 4 dB and making that back up again with the makeup gain here and we're getting a nice bit of saturation from the 1176 as well. So we've now just got a nice vocal sound, something that just sounds clean and studio ready. Let's have a listen. Crash landing in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. 
nice. Alrighty. So let we we've got that nice clean vocal sound. Let's move on to the fun stuff. Step two is pitch, and this is where things start to sound really different and interesting. So what we've done here, we've got a send. This is sending to bus four, as you can see. Uh, what essentially that means is we're basically copying, we're doubling up this vocal. Um, so now there are two Hannahs saying these same lines. And the second Hannah, we on the second Hannah, we've put a vocal transformer and we're taking the pitch up by five semitones and the formant up by one, just to make a bit of a difference, make it not sound exactly the same. On its own, you wouldn't really hear much difference. It would just be a slightly higher pitch. But when you play the two together, things start to sound really strange and otherworldly. Crash landing in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So things are starting to sound really kind of strange, not what we're used to hearing, and that's great. That's what we're aiming for here. So step three is space. We're talking about reverb, of course, and the first thing we do, we're doing two reverb moves. The first thing we're doing is we are using this reflecting chamber. It's just a preset here. Basically, it's like a slapback delay. And that's kind of boxing things in, giving us that feeling of the voiceover coming out of a speaker on the spaceship. Crash landing in T minus 10 seconds. Crash landing in T minus 10 seconds. Crash landing in T minus 10 seconds. Alrighty, so it's just giving it a bit of that, that boxiness that we sort of want so we can imagine it coming out of a speaker on the spaceship. The next thing we're doing with reverb is we've got another send. We're sending to bus three over here. And on bus three, we have this Prince Hall one preset. Now, this is obviously a hall reverb and it's quite lengthy. We've got uh, it's almost four seconds and it's it's a big trailing off big hall reverb uh very bright and sort of cold sounding sort of giving kind of painting that image of the eternal abyss of space so let's have a listen to both of those reverbs on there as well crash landing in t minus 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 Three, two, one. So we're we're sort of painting an image here. We have our reverb set to kind of one show that the the vocal is coming out of a speaker on a spaceship, and then two, we're we're adding that sort of layer of that texture of space. And for those of you who are going to come at me saying that there is no sound in space, I'm fully aware of that. But this is just this is poetic license. Let, let's give it a bit of poetic license. So uh, one more time, what we've done here is we've taken out we, we've cleaned things up. So we've taken out the silence. We've uh, used a deesser to get rid of the sibilance. We've used an EQ to get rid of the things we don't need. And we've evened out some of those dynamics with an 1176 compressor. Then we looked at pitch and we started messing around with pitch to kind of make things sound very different and otherworldly. And then we looked at reverb to kind of put the vocal into a space that was relevant to the scene that we're looking at. So um, one last time what I'm going to do is just play you Hannah's clean vocal without any effects on and then I'll put the effects in so we can see the crazy difference we're making here. Crash landing in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Crash landing in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Crash landing averted. Safe landing successful. Have a nice day. Nice. Nice one. 
Alrighty, so if you are, maybe you're、uh, an actor or you're producing a show, or maybe you're just interested in sound design in theatre or in film, and if that sounds like you and you, you don't know much about audio and you're not really sure the equipment you might need to get started, well, I have the exact thing that you need. I have an ebook for you that I wrote. It's a 25 page ebook that has all of the equipment you're going to need to get started recording and mixing on an affordable budget. And so we're going to run, we'll run through things like、um, converters and DAW recommendations. It's got all of my recommendations. It's got The equipment that I started recording and mixing on. It's even got a chart at the back of the book so you can keep track of your spending and all of that stuff. So it's absolutely free, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Absolutely free for you to download. There's a link in the video description. You just click on that, give me your email address, I'll send it right over to you. So go ahead and check that out. For now, my name's Tim from Audio Tutor. Ciao.